dismantling the cushion rod and cushion lever. This is how I did it. Um, first of all, this is the cushion lever. It's part of your uh, rear uh, shock. Um, this thing came with the bolts in, like this and like this. So first I took out the bolts. It's just a matter of unscrewing. Then uh, there, were, there was a washer here and a washer here. Which is, uh, it's not a washer, it's a seal. It's a, a dust seal or an oil seal. And there was a seal here and there was a seal here. So there are four seals in this cushion rod. Now what I did was I grabbed my screwdriver and I just popped out the seals. Then I was stuck with the uh, needle bearings inside the rod. Uh, in order to get these needle bearings out, I did the following. I'll just the, turn the camera around a little bit. I uh, took my rod with the bearings inside. I found the socket which exactly fit inside my rod. In this case it's this socket here which is a number 17. So I um, got a socket that would fit nicely around the rim of the rod which in this case is a number 27. I put this socket on the bottom Put this socket on top, uh, put the cushion rod on top. I heated first the whole rod with my blowtorch, which is a propane blowtorch. I uh, put the rod on top of the socket. I put the socket that I'm going to use on an uh, extension part, which I completely uh, hammered to pieces right now, so I won't be able to use this. But it's cheap, hopefully. And then I just put the socket on top of the bearing. And I whack, 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 whack. Hammered out my bearing, which is this one. And um, the other side went exactly the same way. I preheated it with my blowtorch. Put it on top of the socket. This socket on top. And this socket on top. A couple of whacks. And out it was. <laughs> um, then I had the whole uh, thing empty, my rod. Um, I basically uh, cleaned it up with my Makita LXT brushless motor. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Adagolis impact driver. I just brushed it all off. And it got all nice and clean. And finally I uh, wet sanded it with, uh, I think, uh, 100, uh, grit 100 uh, wet sandpaper and then 180 wet sandpaper. So that's number one. Then we've got the uh, cushion lever, which is this part. Same thing, first I took out uh, the bolt, which was uh, situated right here took out the bolt and then I was left with a washer on this side, a seal, uh, an oil seal on this side and two little needle bearings inside, one on this side and one on this side. Now, as you can see the, um, the inside of this uh, part is completely even so I decided to take advantage of that and I took my Cushion lever. Um, it's basically the same thing as uh, uh, the cushion rod, but I needed different sockets. So first I looked for a socket that would fit inside um, this hole, which is in this case a 20, number 20, fits in nicely. I uh, looked for a socket which I could put underneath, which is in this uh, case a 30 like this. So I was going to use the same setup 
but instead of wor working the bearings out one by one, which you could do by putting this one on the socket or put the lever into your vise and then using some kind of a, uh, a rod to work out the first bearing, bang, bang, bang from the back and then turn it around. I decided to uh, work them out uh, at the same time. So first of course I uh, properly preheated my, uh, my lever with the propane blowtorch. Um, got my new socket, which is this one I think. Yeah, got my new socket. Put this one on here. Put my socket on top. And I just started hammering away. Whack, 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 whack. Until I got them both out at the same time, in one go. And then afterwards, in order to finish the part off, I uh, brushed it with my uh, impact driver. And I wet sanded it with uh, 100 and then 180. So now basically what I'm left with is my tray with parts. Uh, what I'm going to replace is uh, these needle bearings uh, and my uh, oil seals. And the same goes for the cushion rod. The needle bearings and the oil seals will be replaced. The bolts I've uh, yeah, kind of like given it a good brush. Given a good brush. Uh, I think I'll probably uh, replace the uh, the lock nut on this side. Um, and for the uh, bolts of the uh, of the rod. Uh, I'll probably try to find uh, the bolt and the lock nut. So the only thing I'm gonna retain is the bushing, and then try to find these new. Uh, if not, I'll uh, give these a good brush and I'll reuse them. So that's it. Bye.